And we see that uh, our Kazakhstani strategy is very similar to uh, Chinese concept of China dream. And uh, China dream also includes the goal of uh, building an innovative, highly efficient and uh, knowledge-based economy. And to this regard, we see a very good uh, comple complementary potential between our two countries. And that's why uh, I would like to say that uh, the idea of building economic belt uh, along the Silk Road uh, goes in line with the goals of both countries. And we see very good perspectives, uh, not only in trade, but only also in uh, transportation uh, and other uh, non-raw material sectors. For example, we are now uh, close to completion of the very important uh, transportation corridor, which is called uh, Western Europe, Western China, which is going to be completed on the Kazakhstani territory by the year 2015. And due to this multimodal, mostly uh, motor corridor, the traffic between uh, China and Europe, which goes through Kazakhstan, will increase from 12 million ton today to 33 million tons. And uh, also due to this corridor, the time of transportation of goods uh, will be reduced by 3.5 times compared to the time of delivery by sea from Eastern Chinese ports to Europe. That's why this uh, multimodal transportation corridor, Western Europe, Western China, will provide more opportunities for the businesses and for uh, ordinary people of both countries uh, to communicate, not only between Kazakhstan and China, but also between uh, Eastern and Southeastern nations and Eastern and Western European nations. The so-called uh, struggle against three evil forces. Uh, and uh, as you know, uh, today terrorism and extremism has no uh, national boundaries. It became really transnational. And the uh, types of threats has, became, has become very diversified. And sometimes we even uh, do not expect where the threat or risk come from and uh, what kind of the threat or risk can be. That's why uh, today's uh, security interests require a very well organized coordination and exchange of information not only between different ministries, but also between different countries. Because uh, terrorism and uh, extremism has an international network. And uh, sometimes the headquarters is in, other, in one country, but the acts of terrorism are committed in the other country. That's why uh, such kind of international cooperation is very important. And that's why establishing of such, an, such a body, like a uh, National Security Committee, uh, we think will uh, contribute to better uh, cooperation and uh, better coordination and uh, rising of the efficiency of such anti-terrorist and anti-extremist efforts.